chapter 1, I think verse 13. It says this. Hold fast the form of sound words. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. Hold fast the form of sound words which, has, which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. We're, we're to hold fast the sound words. I'm going to waver this because it's important and I don't want to bore you, brother. But people who go to seminary and the training, yeah. a lot of them think they read a few cool theology books, they have a nice cool t-shirt and they look trendy, they look intellectual. Then they come out of the seminary and they think they're cool, intellectual and trendy with their degree or whatever. That's not what it's all about. It's about being sound in the faith. Somebody might have a nice suit and be flashy and speak well. But it's not about that. It's about being sound in the faith. It's so important. It's so, so important that there has to be a revolution on this issue. That you as a pastor, you as a leader, must start to be a person who gets deep in the word of God and start teaching that book in a deeper way. It's so important. The church is starving and has been starving for a long time. Because there are few people who are willing to dedicate themselves to studying the word and sound theology. You should be reading the early church fathers. You should be reading the reformers and the Puritans. You should be reading these great theology books and, and, and strengthening your heart and mind in the word of God and be solid in the pure word of God. So we come to the end, conclusion. I'll just... I'll... Sorry about that. There's a few phone this morning. So we've come to the end. I'm sorry for labouring one or two things, but leadership, in conclusion, leadership is so important. Good leadership is so important. We would never have won the Second World War if it was not for Winston Churchill. Mm -hmm. That leader was so important to our winning the Second World War, so leadership is really important. I don't know the name of this captain, but he's a real captain. In the Second World War, when uh, the Germans uh, were in France and the Panzer Division was coming down the road, there was this uh, Royal Marine captain who held back the Panzer Division on his own. He was wounded and he was using one of these rocket propelled launchers and he would not give in. And he, ha he kept that old Panzer Division still. He was a man of absolute character and dedication. Where his other men had given in, he would not. And he led the way and kept that division uh, stationed. And so what Paul is saying is, what God is saying through Paul is, I need quality leadership and I want appointed in my church quality leaders. The church is not doing that very often. She's looking for entertainers. So many pastors are very good at entertaining. They'll talk for hours about what God has done for them and who they are or whatever. But that's not what God wants. Some pastors and leaders are good with the big mouth and flashy. Some think, well, some churches are looking for people with a degree. You can't even get a, a pastor's job in America unless you've got an MA. Some pastors, the churches are looking for someone who has the super powerful anointing. Some churches are looking for the, the, the more religious vicar, priest type. But what's God's work? What's God want? Does he want entertainers? Does he want PhDs? Does he want big mouths? Superpower? Or great religious authorities? He's looking for servant leadership. He's looking for godly leadership. And he's looking for sound leadership. That's all that God wants. Servant leadership. Are you a servant? Are you godly? And are you going to hold fast to sound doctrine, sound teaching? So we'll just finish with one last verse. James chapter 3 verse 1. We read these words. Uh, I think is it there. My brethren, 
Are you not many teachers? Knowing that we shall receive the greater judgment. So being a leader is a great, great responsibility. So if we desire leadership, pray about it. But remember, if you are appointed a leader, James chapter 3 verse 1. Yeah, 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 if you're appointed a leader, yeah. it's great responsibility. Mm -hmm. And just remember those three things, that you're a servant, that you are to be godly, and that you are to be sound in the faith, yeah. sound in doctrine. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to close in prayer. Yeah. Lord, we just thank you this morning for the, uh, for the word. Um, in, the, in the New King James, uh, it mentions in the beginning of Titus that uh, Paul is a bond servant. Um, and my understanding of a bond servant is somebody that, that is a slave. He gives everything mm -hmm. to serve the master. You know, he forfeits his whole freedom mm -hmm. because he, he, he relies on, on God and God alone. Mm -hmm. Lord, I just hope you, and pray, Lord, that you give us that... that that character to be a bond servant for you, Lord. That in the Bible, where it seems in in earthly terms everything's upside down, you know, to be a to be a leader, it means you have to be a servant. In, in you know, if you said that to somebody in 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 I don't know in Fleet Street or whatever in London, they, they couldn't understand that concept because it's all about money. It's all about where I am, where I need to be, and all that. Where God tells us that we need to be good servants to be a good leader. So I pray this morning, Lord, that um, the word that's gone out, that the, uh, the teachers, the preachers, the, um, the, the people that are just coming up in the faith that are, that are uh, student pastors, that they realise that to be a true leader in Christ, we have to be somebody that serves. Jesus Christ actually washed the feet of his disciples you know, there was no clean roads in those days. It weren't, you weren't walking down a, a sidewalk a pavement. And you can imagine the smells that were coming up from, from the ground, you know, with the sewage system and everything else. But that's how much God wanted to love us and serve us, yeah. where he, he actually said, no, I, I want to clean your feet. So if God can do that for us, yeah. Lord, I pray that you give us that heart of servanthood. Yeah. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thanks. Thanks, John.